Hi guys, I've got a really quick video here regarding the LG Plasma TV. Um, in fact, there's uh, similar setups on one or two LG Plasmas. Um, now I've taken the um, main board out so we can actually access the control panel. Um, you've all seen these before, it's, uh, LG call it a chocolate block and it's used to make a thermal contact um, between like an IC on the board and the actual metal plate. Now if we move over here to the control panel, um, I've disconnected all this ready. So we'll just flip the control panel over and here's the little tip in the video. If we turn that over, you see there's a chocolate block there and there's a little indentation in it. Um, that indentation is where that chip sits there. Now you can see now the camera's coming to focus. Now it's very important, very, very important that you don't lose this or you don't move the position of it because that chip on the back of the board is actually a temperature sensor and it's in thermal contact with the back of the screen itself. Now what that does is um, when the screen's very cold, um, the, the temperature sensor senses the screen's cold and the Y sustain panel drives the screen a lot harder to ionize the gas in the screen itself. Now, if you were to change the position of that chocolate block so it doesn't touch on that IC, um, there's a big danger that the Y sustain panel can overdrive the screen for an extended length of time and damage the sustain panel. So that's my tip of the day, is LG TVs, when you're doing any work on the control panel, make sure that you don't lose that chocolate block or you don't change the position of it. And if I pull that over there, you'll see that that went onto there. And then when we put it back round, that temperature sensor makes a thermal contact with the back of the screen. Um, if you leave that out, you're likely to uh, overheat the sustain panel and uh, cause further damage. So there you go, guys. That's an LG um, TV plasma repair tip. Okay, bye.